I wouldn't describe what happened at Port Arthur. It's too horrible to contemplate. In 1996, two children, Alana and Madeline Mikak, aged just six and three, together with their mother, lost their lives at Port Arthur. It was one of the ugliest times in Australian history. The sheer scale of it was just so horrendous. 35 people, just at random, kids, Alana and Madeline. It changed this country. Well, the foundation began as a result of a letter that I got from another dad who had two daughters like I had it. And um, basically he said, look, I really feel I can relate to your loss. Why don't you set up a foundation that honours your daughters? Um, called the Alana and Madeline Foundation and, you know, that can help other children who have suffered from either violence or sudden loss. I think Australia is a terrific place and I think we prove it every day with organisations like the Alana and Madeline Foundation. We are not typified or personified by Port Arthur. We are typified and personified by the decency that has come out of Port Arthur despite the horror. Every child deserves to be safe. Safe from violence, abuse, neglect, harm, and all forms of bullying, including cyberbullying. Sadly, more than 30,000 Australian children every year will be neglected or abused, and tens of thousands more will find themselves in emergency accommodation. The program cares for children who have experienced or witnessed serious violence, and we run programs to prevent violence in the lives of children. The Foundation plays an advocacy role. We're a voice against childhood violence. Children are vulnerable and dependent upon adults for their well-being. And as children are the true essence of our future, the importance of providing them with the most basic human right of having a safe and happy childhood cannot be underestimated. So I want to congratulate the Alana and Madeline Foundation for the amazing work they do. The Foundation is one of this nation's greatest community organisations. The Alana and Madeline Foundation develops its programs in consultation with experts, experts in the areas of bullying, cyber safety, children's wellbeing and domestic violence. This year we'll, with our eSmart program, we think that we'll help over half a million children and in total over a million children. So for a small foundation, it, the, uh, the impact has been absolutely fantastic and something that we're very proud of. In Australia, tens of thousands of children are placed in emergency foster care and domestic violence refuges every year, often with nothing but the clothes they are wearing. Our buddy bag programs provide each of these children with a backpack full of basic yet essential items. The postcards we receive from some of the children are just absolutely heartwarming. For them, it's a signal that there are people out there who really care about them, that they're not alone in their experience. Someone is thinking about them, someone is doing something for them. Our Children Ahead program provides intensive long-term counselling and support, helping children recover from violence and build resilience. Our Better Buddies framework creates friendly and caring primary schools and helps prevent bullying. Children starting school are matched with older children to help them feel safe and cared for, while the older students feel valued and respected. The children come together, the prep and grade six, every fortnight in, in their dedicated buddy time. It's part of their carer. They have a, a built-in carer. And that is what then, as a little person, they look forward to, to being in grade six to give back what they got. We are currently working with more than 800 schools in Australia and the program has been adapted in Denmark, Singapore, Greenland, Ireland and Dubai. And kids love our purple mascot, Buddy Bear. <laughs> eSmart is a world leading framework for schools to help implement a sustainable whole school approach for smart, safe and responsible use of technology. The benefit of eSmart is obviously that we want the children to use this wonderful facility uh, we have here uh, in a safe way. We continue to forge networks and collaborative approaches with other organisations, like Children365, an initiative encouraging adults to cherish children every day, and was established in memory of Darcy Freeman, who tragically lost her life at Westgate Bridge in January 2009 and the National Centre Against Bullying. The National Centre Against Bullying is an organisation that's directed at dealing with the problem of bullying 
that was set up by the Alana and Madeline Foundation back in 2003. And, uh, we have worked uh, over the years to draw public attention to problems about bullying, uh, to uh, try and direct uh, authorities and governments to do something about it. So the centre really is a group of people who are um, dedicated to trying to make things better for children. We have over 400 dedicated volunteers helping with the Alana and Madeline Foundation. With the support of our volunteers, we're able to run our fundraising programs and they support us in delivering our programs to care for children. The Foundation relies on the generosity of the community and our corporate partners. Without their support, we couldn't do the work we do to keep children safe from violence. The Alana Madeline Foundation needs your ongoing support. Can you please help to keep children safe?